Hey guys, Mike from Nerd Problems Gaming here and welcome to Nerd Problems Gaming, the channel where we go through the good and bad of everything nerdy to make sure you spend your time on the best of the best. In today's video, I'll be doing a review on the book, The School for Good and Evil, so let's get into it. So basically this book follows the story of Sophie and Agatha and they come from a really small town uh, with a unique history. And so in this town, basically every four years, uh, two kids are kidnapped from this town by what they call the schoolmaster and then they actually get brought to the school of good and evil and so uh, basically the school of good and evil is kind of like a fairy tale uh, training ground for students and so um, there's the evil school there's the good school so the evil school trains kids to become villains and then the good school trains them to be the heroes of the story and so uh, oddly enough uh, every few years when kids continue to be taken away. Uh, st magic storybooks start showing up uh, in this town for sale. And then a lot of times uh, the stories actually feature kids that were kidnapped uh, from the village. So uh, basically these kids are becoming these fairy tale story heroes and villains. So it's pretty interesting. Now the two characters, uh, Sophie is kind of like the goody goody person. She wants to be the ultimate princess, right? So she is destined to go to the school of good. That's what she wants to have happen. And then Agatha is her friend. She's kind of socially awkward, a little bit weird, you know, lives in a graveyard. So she's kind of destined to be that villain, right? And so, but what happens is right in the beginning of the story, they actually go into the opposite school. So Sophie ends up in the villain school, the school of evil, and then uh, Agatha ends up in the school of good. And so uh, throughout the story, it's kind of their journey of learning how to be a hero, learning how to be a villain. And then, you know, Sophie is trying to get back over to the good school and prove that she's good. And then Agatha really just wants to get them back home safe uh, and out of this whole situation, right? Um, and so you kind of go through their journey throughout the story. Now it's fun about the school. It's a it's a fun read because it's kind of Harry Potter esque in a sense where you know you have these different classes that the students are going to. But you know the villain school is stuff like uglification, so making yourself look hideous, <laughs> and then you know how to be a henchman, uh, different classes like that. And then in the school of good, you know there's beautification classes. Uh, you know how to win your prince, sword play if like you know for the guys in the school, different stuff like that. So it's pretty fun. Uh, it's twist on kind of that school uh, atmosphere similar to like Harry Potter. One thing that I really like about this book is it just keeps you on your toes the entire time because you're constantly thinking, you know, are they going to just stick in their main school? Are they going to be able to switch? Are they going to be able to go home? You know, are they actually in the right or wrong school or, you know, are they where they actually belong? And so it's a cool story that really keeps you guessing the entire time. And I really like that aspect of it. Another thing that it does as well is it kind of blurs the line between, you know, what is good and what is evil. You know, are the kids actually good or are they just being taught you know how they are and so that's another cool part of the story as well uh, seeing the characters develop and become evil and become good and you know really just questioning are they actually good and evil as well so it's really cool with that aspect too so again guys if you're looking for a cool fun fantasy uh, if you like Harry Potter the series and you want to check out something similar, I would definitely highly recommend The School of Good and Evil and checking out this book. Now, it's cool. It's actually a series. Uh, to my understanding, there's like six or seven books. Like the latest one is coming out here soon. And um, also it talked about that it is probably going to become a movie as well. So I think that would be really interesting uh, to check that out too. So if you like fantasy books, you like Harry Potter, you like fairy tales with a unique twist on it, Again, I would highly recommend checking this book out. But let me know in the comments uh, if you've read this book, if you like this book, uh, do you feel like it's very Harry Potter-esque or do you think it's kind of its own genre? You know, let me know in the comments below. Uh, and then also let me know if you uh, know other books like this. Uh, I would love to chat more about it. I'm always interested in checking out more cool nerdy stuff here on the channel. So uh, again, guys, though, if you haven't done so yet, be sure to comment and like as it really helps out the channel here. And then if you haven't also done so, be sure to subscribe and turn on those bell notifications to get the latest updates of new videos on everything nerdy. And if you'd like to help us support the channel, pick out content and more, consider becoming a patron of ours over at nerdproblemsgaming.com 
forward slash Patreon. Again, that's nerdproblemsgaming.com forward slash Patreon. And if you'd like to plug into our live streams and let's plays, uh, the video game side of what we do on our channel, uh, you can follow us over on Twitch as well over at nerdproblemsgaming.com forward slash Twitch. Again, that's nerdproblemsgaming.com forward slash Twitch. So again, guys, if you want to pick up a copy of the book, The School for Good and Evil, uh, there'll be a link in the description below where you can check that out. But once again, thanks so much for tuning in and we'll talk to you more soon.